Now, with London 2012 less than a year away, you'd expect, of course, the athletes to be gearing themselves up. But a sculptor from Sussex is now pretty busy too. Louise Giblin is planning to create statues of five British Olympians, including the runner Dame Helly, Kelly Holmes and the hurdler Sally Gunnell. Today, though, it was the turn of swimmer Darren Leach, a Paralympian medalist from Tunbridge in Kent. Claudia Sebasis watched the process begin. This is the way Darren Leach begins most mornings. Six days a week, he swims up to 200 lengths. He won two silver and two bronze medals at the Sydney Olympics, but now he's bidding for a gold Olympic medal. I've got world gold, I've got European gold, I've got national and regional golds, anyone I haven't got is Olympic gold. It's only one missing from the set. He's one of five Olympians who've agreed to be turned into a work of art. Yeah, you've been experienced. Sometimes I can add to my CV for that. <laughs> Strange. I just feel like it's slipping, but. Leave the gap down the side. Okay. So you can breathe. That's nice. It helps. It helps. Dame Kelly Holmes is up next. Later in the year, it's the turn of Sally Gunnell. But this is sprinter and hurdler Chris Akabusi. I did a, a body casting, plaster impregnated bandage of him a fortnight ago. So far, this is the largest piece that I've actually produced by this method. The casts are heavy to wear, which wasn't a problem for gymnast Beth Tweddle. She works out in a jacket weighing 24 kilograms. I have selected people because they have achieved very, very highly in one particular field. And I'm interested in knowing what they consider to be their greatest achievement. For Darren, who's visually impaired, it was winning silver at the Paralympics in Sydney. The front of the finished piece will have a design representing the city where each athlete won their favourite medal. The exhibition will open in London next May to coincide with the lighting of the Olympic torch. Claudia Sabazis, BBC South East Today, Cowsley Wood.